Hello my dear students, big welcome to back my class. Today in this class I am going to discuss about the equation of magnetic field due to long state or current carrying wire. Hope you will stay with me up to the end of this class. Here we consider a state wire, current carrying wire suppose the current is flowing from left to right side and its magnitude is i due to this current there will be created a magnetic field around it now we want to get the equation of magnetic field at any point suppose we consider a point on a wire this point is o now we are taking the perpendicular on O and want to get the magnetic field at point P. This OP is the perpendicular line on the wire. Now we consider the distance between O and P is R. We consider a infinitesimal length DL here and it is a distance L from O. Now the distance between the center of DL and the point P is A. Here we consider the angle is here alpha and this angle is theta. Now due to DL According to Biosavart's law, the magnetic field at point P will be, you know, dB equals to mu naught I dL sine alpha divided by 4 pi A square. Next from this triangle, we can write that sine alpha equals to perpendicular by hypotenuse r by a which is also equals to cos theta next from this triangle we can write tan theta equals to perpendicular by base that is l by r from it we can write L equals to R ten theta. If we derivative this, then we get DL equals to R sec square theta D theta. Now putting this value in the above equation, we get DB equals to mu naught I. Here DL is r sec square theta d theta into sine alpha you know sine alpha is equals to cos theta so here we can write cos theta divided by here 4 r a square 4 pi a you know here r by a equals to cos theta so from it we can write a equals to r by cos theta so here it will be r square by cos square theta next from it we can write db equals to mu naught i cos theta d theta divided by 4 pi r this magnetic field is due to the length of dl now we want to calculate the magnetic field due to the whole length of this wire so here we have to connect the last point with the p and also at the right side the last point with the p here the angle is increased when we take 
DL, then the angle was theta. But when we take the last end, then the angle is increased here. We consider this angle is theta 1 and we consider the angle at the right side is theta 2. So to get the magnetic field due to the whole length of the wire, then we have to integrate this above equation. So finally we get for the total length of the wire, we get integration and the limit will be as theta 1 is the left side, that's, that's why it will be minus theta 1 and the theta 2 is the right side, that's why it will be positive theta 2. This is the upper limit and theta 2 is the, sorry, the, uh, theta minus theta 1 is lower limit and theta 2 is the upper limit. Next, mu naught i cos theta d theta divided by 4 pi r. After integration, we can write mu naught i divided by 4 pi r. Third bracket have to use here sine theta lower limit theta 1 upper limit theta 2. Now putting the value of limits, we get mu naught i divided by 4 pi r sine theta 2 plus sine theta 1. Okay, this is the equation of magnetic field due to the finite length of wire. Now if this point O is the middle point, then here theta 1 will be equals to theta 2. Then we get here sine theta 1 plus sine theta 1 that is 2 sine theta 1 and this 2 will divide it by 4. Then we get finally B equals to mu naught i divided by 2 pi r sine theta 1. Okay, this equation is applicable when the point O is at the middle point of this finite wire. So for finite length we got the magnetic field at point P is B equals to mu naught i divided by 4 pi r into sine theta 2 plus sine theta 1. Now what will be the magnetic field at point P if the length of the wire is infinite? Now we consider the length of this wire at the left side is minus infinite and the right side is plus infinite. Then in this case we have to change the limit of length. So from the equation we get L equals to R ten theta. R ten theta. So here we have to put plus minus infinite equals to r tan theta. So from this above equation we get theta equals to pi by 2. That is theta 1 equals to theta 2 equals to pi by 2. Now if we put this value at the above equation then we get b equals to mu naught i divided by 4 pi r sine pi by 2 plus sine pi by 2 and you know sine pi by 2 is 1 so from it we get b equals to mu naught i divided by 4 pi r into 2 and finally we get the magnetic field at point b is at point P is mu naught i divided by 4 2 pi r. Okay, this is the equation of magnetic field for infinite length of OR. Hope you have able to understand it. Further, if you have any question, then you can send me in my inbox and I will answer all your questions. Up to my next video, keep smiles, stay home 
and stay with the study. The video and its content is subjected to copyright. Convention of this video elsewhere is a punishable offense. Any redistribution or reproduction of part or all of the contents in any form is prohibited. You may not issue or commercially exploit the content, nor you may transmit, duplicate, publicly display, or make derivatives of this video. The video is protected by intellectual property claims to stimulate and ensure originality. All rights reserved by Adam Chingetonman College.